Hey, turn it off. Can you hear me? Can you hear me any better? A sold out crowd is on its feet tonight here in St. Louis, Missouri. These fans are so excited, I'm having a hard time staying in my own seat myself. I'm with you on that part. We've got a great show here tonight for these St. Louis You guys have points if you'd like to, to bet. Started. Nice quick counter there. <laughs> you guys have points if you'd like to bet. 
I know that Johnny Nitro is an incredibly talented superstar, but it's almost impossible for me to get past that arrogant attitude of his. That's an incredibly unprofessional attitude. Nitro's got all the potential in the world, and you have to respect that. I respect Nitro's potential, but he needs some more experience before he's entitled to an ego like that. considered that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. Wow. Great reversal. heard about this match I wasn't sure what to think but these superstars are blowing me away really as soon as I heard about it I expected a tremendous matchup <laughs> and I haven't been disappointed I didn't say I'm not disappointed but I'll talk about getting stuck with you as a broadcast partner some other time using the ring post to do it. And look at this, a debilitating arm wrench using that ring post as a weapon. And there's no give to that ring post either. That is solid steel. He's got the arm, and this is not going to be pretty. Right into the ring post. I love it. momentum at the same time you gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this he's got this crowd solidly behind him and now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see you can't just keep playing to the crowd that's a huge distraction in my opinion might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match. The fans are definitely into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. Stars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice long rivalry. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Hey, watch your language. This is a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. And this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding off that energy right now. It really sticks in my crawl that CM Punk makes a big deal about being straight edge, like that makes him better than the rest of us. I don't think that's his opinion at all. And if he does think that he's better than anyone else, I'm sure it's because of his confidence, abilities, not his lifestyle choices. Ugh. You look at Johnny Nitro, and you might be looking at the future of this business right there. Hold on, partner. Nitro's got talent, but he's also got a long way to go before he lives up to that kind of hype. Oh. 
And this one's turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got to admit, it took me by surprise, and that doesn't happen often. That's an understatement. You've been in... You think you know me? And the opponent, On this day, the world heavyweight champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 241 pounds,
A big benvenue to our fans around the world from Montreal, Quebec. Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. And folks, let me assure you that tonight's show is a lot better than JR's French. Sheesh. Well, there's no question of that, King. These Montreal fans are ready to get started, and so am I. So what are we waiting for? Whoops! There goes the referee! Oh, man! And now there's no one to keep order in this matchup. He's got the fans behind him, King, and his opponent better watch out. What a counter! This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If looks could kill, somebody would be pushing up daisies right now. And you've got to admit, that makes for a mu Look at him! Rubbing his opponent's face in it! I love it! Well, this crowd doesn't seem to share your opinion. And quite frankly, I hope this comes back to bite him. There aren't many superstars as diversely talented as John Cena. He's as good in the ring as he is on the microphone, and that's saying something. I won't argue with you about Cena's mic skills. He's sh they're beating the heck out of each other, JR. Someone's gonna take a tumble. What a battle. Neither superstar can afford to be knocked off the ladder. respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional athlete I know. It really is like being married to your career. There's not much room for anything else. And marriage is a subject which you happen to be something of an authority. Isn't that right, King? Come on now, JR. A man doesn't know what true happiness is until he's married. And then it's too late. These superstars are going to put each other through wrestling hell tonight. They've already got a pretty good start on that, JR. They have indeed, King. I don't think there's an ounce of quit between them. Yeah, and that's where things get dangerous. If you're too proud to admit that it's not your night, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. But at the same time, King, my God, let me tell you, when a wooden table meets flesh and bone, the table wins. It's a deadly weapon for sure, JR. Superstar. Did you expect anything less, JR? Oh, I mean, look who's in the ring right now. No, I didn't, King. I had high expectations, and I'm happy to say that this match has exceeded them all. Oh my gosh! Not the table! Boy, somebody's gonna be picking splinters out of their gums after this one. superstar like Edge on the Raw roster. Someone who sets goals for himself and doesn't let anything stop him from reaching them. He's a great role model for young fans. Oh, he's a terrific role model, all right. Edge is a real humanitarian. A guy who would just as soon sell you out as look at you. What are you talking about, JR? That's just a nasty rumor spread by people who wanted to be in Edge's league but couldn't keep up with him. Come on, King. You've watched Edge as much as I have. And you see the things he's pulled. Talk about someone whose heart is as cold as the other side of the pill. Well, I'm sorry you've decided to sympathize with the losers, JR. Me, I'm sticking with a winner. I'm sticking with Edge. 
What does he think he's doing? He's just showing off for the crowd now. He's wrestling the match his way. And I think it's going to pay off, mark my words. I don't think these superstars have any intention of taking it easy on each other tonight. That's not what they signed up for, King. And oh. quite frankly, I think these fans will be disappointed if they didn't go all out. Well, that's easy for the fans to say. They've never set foot inside that ring. No, but they spend their hard-earned dollars to watch what goes on inside it. And without them, we'd all be out of a job. That table's about the last thing you want to get hit with. I guess it's better than being put through the table, but not much. Gosh! He just drove his opponent straight through that table! A reversal. Can he capitalize on it? You're not going to get him with that one. of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's going to go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. You know, JR, it's obvious that the only exercise you get is stretching the truth or jumping to conclusions. Well, judging from the shape I'm in, I don't appear to be doing too much of either, King. You're looking pretty fit, though, I must say. Looks like someone's heading for the high rent district. You talk about the future of... He's obviously not feeling too threatened, JR. Then maybe he's not smart enough to realize how dangerous his opponent really is. King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE. You've got to have a guess, right? I might, but I'd rather keep it to myself if it's all the same to you, King. Oh, no! The referee's been knocked out! This can't be good! Are you kidding? Now anything goes! It doesn't get any better than that, JR. Oh! He's got his opponent in a pinning predicament. One, two. I think it's pretty obvious which way this one's going to go, JR. Well, from my perspective, this is still anybody's man. I'd like to see things from your perspective, JR, but I'd have to get my head out of my rear end first. And Lord knows it's been up there for so long that that would be no easy feat. A textbook reversal there. I guess a little sportsmanship is too much to ask for. I guess so, JR, but where's the fun in that? Wow, listen to these fans, JR. You can fool some of the people all of the time, and all the people some we could have a pinfall here, JR. One, two, three.
West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 248 pounds, John Cena. Everybody's attention. We'd just like to remind you that I weigh in tonight at 246 pounds. I hail from Green Bay, Wisconsin.
Memphis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton. This sold-out crowd is on its feet tonight here in St. Louis, Missouri. These fans are so excited, I'm having a hard time staying in my own seat myself. I'm with you on that, partner. We've got a great show here tonight for these St. Louis fans, and I can't wait to get started. What a reversal! The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, try to strain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. <laughs> I can honestly 
honestly say that I don't think I've ever seen a superstar as excited. Come on, quit showing off. This is a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. Now, we've seen this before. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. He made his opponent look like a chump with that counter. He slipped out of that one. Jerk when someone counters you like that. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, an injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, You've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't, man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love it, and he's feeding off that energy right now. He anticipated that move perfectly. that bullet. <laughs> Ric Flair certainly has earned the nickname the dirtiest player in the game. But you can't say he doesn't warn his opponents. You're such a hypocrite. If it was anyone else that... That's just about the last position you want to find yourself in. And I don't care how tough you are. That hurts like hell. doesn't seem to have much trouble putting his money where his mouth is. Maybe not, but it's only a matter of time before Kennedy's mouth gets him into some trouble. He can't get himself. My God, head first, right into the exposed heel of the turtle. That's going to leave a mark for sure. Oh, man. Someone's going to need an aspirin of 10 after this match. The exposed steel of that uncovered turnbuckle will certainly won't do you any favors. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. His mouth might get him in trouble, but he's always ready for it. Are we talking about the same Randy Orton? It seems like the only time he's willing to fight is when he gets to hit somebody from behind. Oh. The Undertaker's got an impressive history here in WWE, but you're only as good as your last how can you say that? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. Undertaker has earned his rep, no doubt about it. But you got to know when to call it a day. There's a fine line between legend and has been. I can't believe you can sit here and even imply that the Undertaker might be a has been. That could be hazardous to your health. Maybe that looks like he's going for it. He sure is. The STFU is locked in. like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Hey, it's pretty insightful for a guy who's ever wrestled a match in his life. Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. 
You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. If he grabs that briefcase, this match is over. I don't think there's a superstar in the history of WWE who's gone from rookie to WWE champion as quickly as John Cena has. Yeah, Cena shot up real quick, but he hasn't picked up the experience that a lot of other superstars have. Well, from where I sit, I haven't seen a lot of superstars give Cena much of a problem. He's held his own against some of the most talented veterans on the roster. I assume you're talking about me, right? Well, let me tell you something. When John Cena beat me for the WWE Championship, that was a fluke. If that's the case, then he's had a lot of fun victory since then. I don't think anyone gets as far as Cena has on luck alone. He likes fighting. He's literally inches away from winning this one. <laughs> You've never been CM Punk's biggest fan, but I'm sure you can come up with one good thing to say about him. Well, he calls himself Punk. And that's exactly what he is. So I'll give him credit for truth in advertising. This is a pivotal moment. Whoever comes up short here might just lose the match. Wow, great reversal. opponent is smart he'll get the hell out of there a textbook pervert he's going for it this could be over right here I certainly don't envy the referee in this match no kidding no matter what call you make you're gonna get on the bad side of at least one superstar and that's about the last place you want to be if you're not a superstar yourself trust me I know watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you let me train you, you could be cruiserweight champ inside a year. Oh no, I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marines drill instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? <laughs> They're just, if your opponent knocks you down from there, you might as well throw in the towel. And there's the reversal. Words. One of these days, Ric Flair's cheating ways are going to catch up with him. Well, if it hasn't happened so far, I have my doubts as to whether it ever will. It's a long fall for whoever loses this fight. Superstars are beating the hell out of each other. 15 feet in the air. Night after. 
Mr. Knight, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing. I don't even like to think about where only one of these superstars is going to hold on. Who's it going to be? He's bleeding all over the place. This one's getting ugly. It isn't pretty, but it's effective. You make your opponent bleed, and you've got a psychological edge over him. Maybe so, but I'm more concerned about the risk to his physical well-being now that he's been busted open. Both of these superstars... Oh, man, he's almost got it. If he can grab that briefcase, he gets the contract. It's crazy to think that we actually get paid to do a job like this. There are thousands of people out there who would do this for free. Really? Maybe I should look into that. I could get a better broadcast partner and save the company some money at the same time. Keep it up. And you're going to find out exactly how tough it is to do this job with your job. Wow, look at him up there, trading shots back and forth. The briefcase is only inches away. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you're not going to see athletes like the WWE superstars anywhere else, Cole. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do best. Anyone in this match has even considered that they might not look out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE Superstar is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. I'm all for freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying. Did you see that? What a desperate maneuver. You know what they say, it's all legal till you get caught. <laughs> These superstars have been given it everything they've got all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars, what incredible intensity from these two superstars, training blows high above the ring. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got trade punches 15 feet in the air. I don't believe it. So much can go wrong from that top turnbuckle. Boy, Mr. Kennett, neither one of these superstars can afford to get knocked off the ladder. Now, there's a superstar with guts. These top rope players, though, are high risk. If he can win this struggle, he might just win the match. People think that Randy Orton's just an overhyped pretty boy, but I respect his accomplishments. 
What, you mean like turning on the people who supported him and stabbing them in the back? No, I mean like becoming the youngest world heavyweight champion in history and having one of the longest intercontinental title reigns of the last decade. I'd have more respect for those achievements if Orton didn't earn them with such underhanded tactics. Well, I've got news for you. Orton doesn't care what you or anyone else thinks, and that's why he's at the top of his game right now. If you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars, and even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. That's for sure. Even me, a former WWE champion, has had his share of injuries over the years. So great seeing these superstars. And I was afraid it was only a matter of time before he did something like that. It's like they say, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain. He's got his opponent on the ground. Could this be it? This is it, all right. STFU. These superstars are on fire tonight. They sure are, and I don't think they're going to be put out anytime soon. Predictions about who's gonna win this one? No way. I've seen you embarrass yourself with enough bad guesses that I'm not going to risk doing the same. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. This has all the making of a nice, long rivalry. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Hey, watch your language. This is a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. Watch it. He reversed it. The crowd makes a huge difference. With it. I have never seen two competitors more determined to beat the living hell out of each other. Someone's been taking flying lessons. This capacity crowd is certainly getting its money's worth here tonight. And it's a good thing, too, if they're not buying tickets, they're not getting paid. I don't think we'll have to worry about selling tickets the next time we come back here. 
Not after a match like this. I know the internet loves CM Punk. The kid is oh. overrated. I don't know about that. It's hard to argue with tens of thousands of screaming WWE fans. Who's arguing? I'm right. They're wrong in the discussion. There isn't an ounce of quit in these superstars. There certainly isn't. They're in this one to the bitter end. Ric Flair is a terrible example to every young superstar. The man built his career on cheating and stealing victories. Ah, oh, come on. Don't tell me you didn't borrow a trick or two from the dirtiest player in the game. sound so excited. These are human beings in the for God's sake. Correction, these are WWE superstars, and sometimes this is what it takes to win. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> well, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. As long as these superstars have got anything left in the tank, they'll keep going at it. They certainly don't look like they're going to give anything less than 100% here tonight. Neither superstar is giving an inch, but only one of them can stay up there. it all a great look fantastic charisma and three generations of experience in the business and not to mention an ego that won't quit a lot of the superstars around here with these competitors are going to trade blows until someone falls off the ladder looks like someone's moving up in the world These superstars are putting on a clinic. Yeah, and not a health clinic. Never have so few inches seen so far away. This match proves without a doubt why SmackDown's the dominant brand of the I can't help but agree, partner. You won't see action like this on Raw. Even if you did, you'd have to hear about puppies and government mules and scalded dogs. It's like a zoo over there. Half of the Undertaker style is about getting inside his opponent's head. If you can keep your floor in the ring with him, you got a chance. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man. You can't forget about that. Of course you can. The man's a legend. That's why I didn't bother mentioning it. There's not an ounce of quit in either one of these superstars. Someone is going down. Not 
Neither one of these superstars wants to be the one to fall off the ladder. We've seen some pretty good back and forth here, but you don't see too many matches end that way. Whoever loses this fight is going to have a long fall in their immediate future. He's going up, and what goes up must come down. The ref's got a tough job trying to keep these superstars on the up and up. Anything can happen in WWE. Going up that turnbuckle hurts a hell of a lot less than coming down from it. It's been a long time since I saw a crowd get behind me. I tell you what, there's not enough room for both of them up there. My loyalty is to SmackDown, but I admit that I wish we could steal CM Punk to our roster. Why? As far as I'm concerned, he's just a pretty boy. Oh, wait. I just answered my own question. Come on, you're telling me they don't recognize the athletic ability and potential of CM Punk? All I'm saying is that CM Punk's been a big fish in a little pond for a long time. He wouldn't last two minutes against the big boys. Absolutely tearing each other apart up there. <laughs> Boy, this is not the way I thought this match was going to go at all. And that's what makes the WWE so exciting. The unpredictability of the superstars. You never quite know exactly what you're going to see. He's almost got it! This could be it!
Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 220 pounds, C. You think you know me? And the opponent, on this day, the WWE Champion, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, and... Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Cole and JBL here at ringside welcoming you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hey, I got top billing tonight. I like it. Keep it up. Well, what can I say? These Minneapolis fans have got me in such a great mood. I'm feeling especially generous tonight. Great reversal. Oh. You feel like a jerk when someone counters you like that. Great reversal. This has been a great match so far. I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> well, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Oh! <laughs> These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, <clears throat> but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes, too. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything. This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake, we're going to see that fire put out pronto. Sticks in my crawl that CM Punk makes a big deal about being straight edge, like that makes him better than the rest of us. I don't think that's his opinion at all. And if he does think that he's better than anyone else, I'm sure it's because of his confidence and his abilities, not his <coughs> lifestyle choices. Uh. He's 
going for the cover. Two. Oh. These fans have got something they want to share with us. That's their right. They paid for their tickets after all. everything by the book and cares more about the rules oh! than about winning? I'd rather watch a superstar who had some sense of sportsmanship, some sense of decency, yes. Oh! How can you applaud a man who doesn't care about anyone but himself? Because those are the guys, man, this crowd is really swelling mm. this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding off that energy right now. This one's turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got to admit, it took me by surprise, and that doesn't happen often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds. Oh, no. The referee is down. What's going to happen now? Anything and everything. No ref means no rules. Nice, quick counter there. Superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this is going to be a so far. So what? You want to say that everybody wins so that nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. wind up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well. Oh boy, I think the referee is out of it. They got to start getting sturdier refs. This kind of thing seems to happen a lot. <clears throat> he slipped out of that one. Tonight, the WWE Ew, superstars what? never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing. Ew. I don't even like to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting Three. here calling this match, Ew. that's for sure. Four. Talk about adding insult to injury. And these fans love it. Yeah, but you gotta worry more about the injury and less about the insult until the match is over. Me too, and I do agree with what they're saying. It's crazy to think that we actually get paid to do a job like this. There's thousands of people out there who would do this for free. Really? Maybe I should look into that. I could get a better broadcast partner and save the company some money at the same time. Keep it up, and you're going to find out exactly how tough it is to do this job with your jaw wired shut. considered that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat. And there's the pin. One, two, three. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. 
He's wrestled this match his way all along. And now we see it paying off. I know the internet loves CM Punk. The kid is overrated. I don't know about that. It's hard to argue with tens of thousands of screaming WWE fans. Who's arguing? Oh. I'm right. They're wrong. End of discussion. Superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you let me train you, you could be cruiserweight champ inside a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE <clears throat> superstars. Well, thanks but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. Look at that! That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You gotta watch out for the opponent when they're getting fired up like this. Edge is such a jerk. I'm amazed that he still has a job on Raw after some of the stuff he's pulled. Maybe Edge doesn't have the best attitude in the world, but he is a heck of a competitor, no doubt about it. That may be true, but I'm not a fan of the way he's been winning his matches lately. And I don't think these fans are either. certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on the bad side of at least part. And that's about the last place you want to be. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it. But as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. And that's what matters. If you're not doing everything you can to win, you're in the wrong business. at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match. The fans are definitely into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. Oh, my. Talk about your compromising positions. Nothing will take the fight out of a superstar player than a move like this. <clears throat> oh. Look at this. Pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy yeah. while you build some of them. Superstars. There certainly isn't. They're in this one to the bitter end. You've never been CM Punk's biggest fan, but I'm sure you can come up with one good thing to say about him. Well, he calls himself Punk, and that's exactly what he is. So I'll give him credit for truth in advertising. He was one step ahead on that one. Oh, I think he's through playing around. That's an understatement. I know I say this a lot, but it ain't ballet. You step between those ropes, you better be prepared to take some punishment. And to dish some out as well. I don't think I've ever seen a superstar win a match by being a tackling dummy. Uh, 
Edge is so quick and so deadly, you can't take your eyes off of him for a second. Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really keep your head in the match. Come on, you're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd and use that energy to win the match. Superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford to either. I'd love to know where you're coming up with this stuff, because it sure ain't from personal experience. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they're gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't Ooh. going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, anytime you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed a great show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. <laughs> Good thing, too, if they're not buying tickets, we're not getting paychecks. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about selling tickets the next time we come back here. Not after a match like this. And you just can't put in. Here it is. He's building up ahead of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. have been given everything they've got all night. They sure have, and that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. Yeah, you're not going to win a match if you're blown up two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won. Uh oh the ref's out like a lot. Anything goes now. Unfortunately, you're right. There's no one to enforce the rules <clears throat> until the ref arrives.